When you're rich, having the very best food isn't just about the taste. It's about showing off and impressing your friends. One lady hoping to wow her friends is Jory White. An important milestone is approaching and she wants to celebrate with a party. It's her 17th wedding anniversary. I want something that's going to blow everybody's mind with food and drink and something that's theatrical and extraordinary. If you really want to impress someone and make them remember the experience for months and years to come, you really need to take that step further and give them something that is super sensory and super experiential, and that's what I'm hoping to get. Jury has chosen bubble food to cater at her anniversary party. Pioneers of molecular gastronomy, they're famous in celebrity and millionaire circles for their innovative use of technology, attention to detail and creative presentation. People now want food to be entertainment, they want it to be a spectacle and they're quite willing to pay a lot of money for it. People don't expect just to eat good food now, they want a whole experience, they want to be immersed in, in a whole evening and a whole different world. Boss Michael must pitch Bubble's very best ideas to Jury. To wow her, they're going to have to pull out all the stops. Can I have a glass of wine, please? <laughs> Calm me down a bit. <laughs> the dinner party will cost more than £10,000. It's a laborious process of pitches and tastings to perfect the menu. Because it's her 17th wedding anniversary, I think it would be quite nice to propose um, 17 sensory moments throughout the evening. It's a tie-in with the number, really, to give it a little bit more of a bespoke touch. Let's do this. Hey! Jury's husband, photographer Adrian, is joining her for the pitch. Good, thanks. Good. Nice to meet you. Michael knows how to do it. His team know how to do it. And the chefs are all so fantastic. I think the type of people we've got coming, obviously, have been to lots of different events before, so they're not easily impressed. But impress they must. So Bubble will tailor the evening specifically to Jury's whims and wishes. I'm having a coconut fit right now because coconut is where it's at. Yeah. And so I really want to do something with coconut. I mean, we can incorporate anything into the menu. Okay. I mean, that's, that's not a problem. As well as coconut, Jury loves truffles. So the team has devised a truffle hunting experience. Guests will hunt through a box of leaves to find truffle-flavoured canapes. So it's in, it's in the wooden box filled with kind of leaves um, and bark, like a ham and truffle okay. croquette. So truffles, I'm up for it. Adrian's okay. exhibition is all about, yeah. it's coming together big time yeah. and it's all yeah. about trees and forests. So maybe yeah. we, we go down that road a bit. Yeah. yeah. That really excites me. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. And cool. But when, you, when you take the canopy, you have to put these headphones on, which are um, snorting pigs. I'm not going to be 100% sure that I'm going to choose to do that, but I really would, I don't mind trying it at all. You'll try it at the tasting okay. and you'll love it. You're going to love it because it's such a talking point. There'll be eight courses at the dinner party and each one must be approved by Jury and Adrian. The truffle dish won't be signed off until they try it next week at the tasting. So you're going to have to live up, up the to the game, baby. Do you know what I mean? You need to up the ante and do a wow, super wow, wow. after job. We so were. every don't morsel needs to be super tasty. It will. <laughs> don't you worry. Okay, don't you cool. worry. It'll be amazing. The last party that Michael did for us was probably three or four years ago, and people still, still talk about that about party because it was yeah. so amazing. Yeah. A lot of our clients use us to show off. I mean, that's why they come to us. In London, luxury caterers Bubble have been hard at work creating bespoke dishes for Jury and Adrian's anniversary party. Today, they must finalise the menu. It's going to be so much fun. I honestly, I can't wait to give all of our friends such a complete taste sensation and kind of visual sensory kind of uh, overawing kind of, whoa, what's going on? They're all going to have so much fun. And I know for a fact that they'll talk about it for ages to come. So this is a little taco de crisp with hamachi, kingfish. Mmm, yum. Lovely presentation with the, with the flowers. Every dish must be tasted, critiqued and signed off by jury before it can be served at the party next week. Our next campaign is a little bit of diced native lobster topped with black radish and gold leaf. 
Very nice. Very nice. Bubble are presenting some of the world's most costly ingredients, served not just as food, but as theatre. House smoked sea trout with mustard mayonnaise. Mm. So that's a good one. This is the one I was talking about. So this is a... Time for the showstopper. Okay. A box filled with leaves hiding tiny truffle flavoured canapes. So that'll be the sound aspect. Guests must root through the box like pigs hunting truffles in a forest. What is going on there? That's kind of cool. I like that. To help get into character, headphones play the sounds of oinking pigs. <laughs> Feel like that. Feel like that. Mm. Actually, you need to put that on there when you do it. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Where's another one? I'm sure I recognise one of those pigs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, very, very nice. So I think, Jory, if you maybe sit here. After truffling success, time for the mains. But first, Bubble have another surprise. They've scented the napkins with personally tailored oil perfume. So for jury, it's the all-important coconut. Coconut scented towel. Oh, nice. I love coconut. Oh. Wow. Uh, Jury's husband there. likes trees, so his nice. towel smells of trees. Thank you. So this will be a really lovely touch for your guests. Uh, there'll be there'll be one overriding scent that you know your guests are probably uh, a real fan of, whether it's something woody, whether it's something citrus or floral, mm -hmm. and we can really tailor the uh, scent to your guests' um, a specific mm -hmm. tastes. Chef Jens has a budget of over a thousand pounds a head, so the fish course, up next, spares no expense. So the Ossietra caviar is about um, 1,600 pounds a kilo, so obviously that costs us a fair bit. Uh, king crab is a really premium product, over 100 pounds for, uh, for an actual crab. And of course, it's all topped off with a sheet of edible, yet tasteless, gold leaf. So although it's quite a small dish, um, yeah, it, it adds up, it's worth a fair bit. But with the next two courses, there's a problem. The burrata ball looks a bit like the octopus carpaccio. The presentation is very similar to the tomato dish, and I kind of prefer it if it wasn't a similar presentation. And I can't deter from the tomato dish because it was so divine. We could represent it and send you images if you want. It's a tough one. How do we play that one then? You can think about that. <clears throat> Jury's looking for perfection but these tough decisions must be made soon. I think we need to refine a couple of things and make sure it's exactly what she's looking for. Michael and his team have just six days to create a menu that satisfies her every desire. In London, at Jury and Adrian's home, the big night has arrived for bubble food. With three chefs, five waiters, an event manager, and freshly baked personalised buns, a night like this costs well over a thousand pounds a head. We need to blend into the background, we need to be very quiet. The focus is on uh, jewellery, entertaining with our guests. We don't want anything to um, detract from that. I'm hoping for every single one of our friends that walks through the door to be wowed by every taste sensation that they have. And I can't wait to give my friends this experience. We're gonna have so much fun. In southwest London, guests are arriving at Jury and Adrian's house to celebrate their 17th wedding anniversary. Cheers. <laughs> Caterers Bubble have been working for weeks on this 10,000 pound food extravaganza. You know Adrian, of course. Head chef Jens and his team are adding real wood smoke to the sea trout starter. So they get a nice waft of smoke just before they eat their nice smoked sea trout canopy. Anyhow, so I kind of made my way around and found them and did my thing. That doesn't last long, so it's time for the bespoke woodland truffling experience, complete with pig noises. So basically you put these headphones on and it's the sound of foraging in the forest while you're eating these truffles. Are you joking? It's wicked. It's so wicked. I mean, it's so wicked. There's pigs! <laughs> I'm in the forest! <laughs> They're snorting! That's the last train. Taste sensation. <laughs> really good. <laughs> the sound, sound effects are really <laughs> And you're talking really loud, Tom. <laughs> yeah, really good. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow, it's genius. It's a genius idea. Tonight has already been a success based on one canopy. With the canapes all gobbled up, hands and faces all cleansed with a personally scented hand towel, it's time to read tonight's menu with a magnifying glass. It's been shrunk and printed on edible paper. This is an umami bomb, yeah? So, but if you take your looking glass and you look on that little piece of paper, that's your entire menu for the evening. <laughs> that's brilliant! <laughs> Tonight, Bubble is serving more than just food. It's entertainment on a plate. I've always liked fun with my food, I think. <laughs> It's balsamico vinegar. You think it's like caviar, but it's not. And jury's guests are suitably wowed. Exquisite. It's delicious. It works. It's been an evening that will do jury's reputation in London society nothing but good. I'd say it's the most extraordinary, inventive, and experiential. Um, Suffer at, I've ever been invited to. It's been, it's been amazing. It's been very, very cool. Much more than expected, in fact. And I think everybody here has been absolutely blown away. At a mere £10,000, it's a wedding anniversary to remember for Jury and Adrian. When you actually meet someone and you know that that's the right person, then 17 years is a very short time. 17 years goes by very quickly. It's been a good, fun ride. Yeah. <laughs>